Okay, welcome back. And this time we're looking at array functions. So let me just open up our basic uh, HTML page. Okay, basic HTML page and rename it to array functions. Right, let me save this as array functions.php. I already had it there, so replace. So array functions are what we use to manipulate arrays. So let's take, for instance, this array that I have here. Okay. So let me just uh, echo out some pre tags because we are dealing with arrays. The pre tags look better like that so that our results can look nicer. Okay. So if I say print r, I print r my array. I get the array. So let, let's check it out. Let me run this in Firefox. Make sure uh, Apache is running. Okay, it is running, but I have to make sure I enter localhost. Okay, there we go. So there is the array that uh, we have on top here. All right, so there's a function called sort. You open bracket and then you type in the name of the array you want to sort, okay? And let me just print that out again at the end over there so we can see a difference. So this is the original array and this is the sorted array. So now you see it, this one is moving in uh, uh, ascending order from one to nine. Here it's completely disordered. So you can do the same thing again using reverse sort. You just type R sort array and then let's print out and see what happens. Yeah, so now this one is descending order, okay? The same array, but the numbers have been sorted in this one, they've been sorted in descending order. So this is a cool and fast way to actually sort things out in your array without typing, typing a bunch of things. All right, so these are some of the functions. So let me, let's go to the next one. There are these uh, here. So let me print that there. All right, so this one is count. Count, I think we've seen in previous tutorials, it counts how many uh, items are in an array. Mean will bring you back the minimum value. Max will bring you back the maximum value in that array. So just so for a reference, we can still leave that print R that we had previously so that we can be checking what's actually in the array as we do this. So you see count, there's one, two, three, four, five, six items. The Oh, minimum, sorry, uh, I have to write min here and max so we don't get confused. Refresh and there you see. So the minimum value here is one, the maximum value is nine. Okay, so pretty useful stuff. So sort, we've already seen. So let me uh, use this one called implode. So let's, uh, let me paste that there. Now echo string is equal to, so we're assigning the string to the value implode. Now what implode actually does is it converts an array into a string and in between the values of the array, it adds whatever string you add here. So let's see this in action. And you can see this is the result right there. Okay. Here you can put anything. You can say, you can put a space and say and like that. You refresh and you see three and seven and what and what. Anything you put here will be the string in the middle like that. Okay. Pretty awesome. Now the opposite of uh, implode is explode. Okay, so let me add uh, this one explode. Now what explode does, here we don't need this one anymore. Explode actually creates a uh, an array from a string. So here we don't need this my array, we need a string. Let me create this string variable. So let me say I put something like boy, cat, book, uh, car. So what I could do is tell it to explode this into an array using the comma, which is here. So let's see exactly what we get. Oh, this new array doesn't exist. So what I need is actually this one because we are creating, this explode is creating a new array here. So let's see what it contains. And you see, uh, an array has been created with those values. So here I can use anything. I could use dots to separate these. I could do that and that. Let me see what happens and there we go. We have values in an array like that. So I can have car, I could say house, money, you know, comma, I could use comma there. 
and put dots there. So what I'll get is an array like this. Okay, pretty awesome. Now the last ones are these ones that say in array. These are for you to check if something is actually inside an array. So let's see here. Let me tell it to echo and here echo. Now the result of in array is a boolean. As you can see when you uh, type the open bracket, you see it says boolean. That's the result you will get. Here is the mixed needu, which means what you're looking for. That's the needu in the haystack. The mixed haystack means the item you're searching in. So th that's the order you put them. So we want to search for zero and we want to search for eight. So just so we can see something useful, I'll just type eight, uh, eight like that, concatenate and concatenate the break tag over here like that. Let me copy this and put it there. Here we're looking for zero. So let's see what we get. So eight exists, you get a one, which is true. Zero, you get nothing, which means false. It does not exist. There's another one um, which you can use to say is array. To check if uh, this array you put in these brackets is actually an array or not. So if it's an array, you get is array, you get one, which is true. Now there are many other functions uh, out there, so just go to the php.net website. In the search bar just type array and you get this nice page here with all the what an array is and the array functions. So you can go through all these functions and see what they do because they've got explanations. Like the ones we use so far are sort, you know, sort an array, reverse sort, sort an array in reverse order and so on. Good ones to look at would be probably uh, the key sort will sort the keys. There's one like array pop, array, I can't seem to see those, array push, those are quite good. Array pop for adding items and removing items. Array merge where you merge two arrays and create a third array. So I encourage you to go to this website, the php.net and read up on arrays. And so I will see you in the next video.